Alright, so today I'm gonna show you how to fix a tearid ligament or tendon. So this are patient. As you can see, this ligament is broken. This guy just suffered a, a strain. I know this ligament is broken and we need to fix this, fix this because otherwise this guy won't be able to walk. So what you gotta do first is remember to always apply anesthetics it's really important so just apply anesthetics in the zone and be generous you don't want you don't want to to make your patient suffer All right always follow a triangle Okay, that's our triangle. All right. And then what you what you want to do is to secure your patient to the table because you don't want your patient to to run out of the of the surgical room in the middle of the of the suture. This guy needs to be fixed in place. Alright, nice and tight. And then we just start to shoot to suture. Okay, so today I'm going to use uh, an R35 caliber 2. Alright, so now I'm going to demonstrate you how to do this, this kind of suture. So first you, you grab your needle with your instrument and then you present the both sides of the of the wound and just perpendicular to the wound you need to take generous bites. Alright? Generous bites. Yeah, like so. And to the other side of the wound. So pull the all the string and you keep pulling it until you have a shorter end. The shorter the better. Like so. And then make it go through the other side of the wound. So down here. Like so. Remember to always take big big chunks, big bites so the tissue doesn't tear up so to do the surgeon's knot you start by placing your instrument perpendicular to the wound grab the short end of the string and then you wrap around two times the string around your instrument and then grab the other end the shorter end and then And then you pull perpendicular to the wound. You let go the shorter end and then do one turn around the, the instrument and repeat the process. You want to do this until you have three or four or four loops of the knot. And this by definition is the surgeon's knot. All right, then you are, you are, we are going to grab our needle again and keep applying the stitches. Oops. It doesn't matter if you bend a little bit the, the needle, you can always bring it back to shape. Just by applying a little bit of pressure with your tweezers. Yeah, that's fine. Is, you know, ligaments are, 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 it's a hard tissue. 
and you want, in, you want it nice and tight, nice and tight. But not too tight that you start, that start tearing the, the, the tissue, the healthy tissue. So once you are all the way to, to, to the end of the wound, then you go back making stitches to stitch what you forgot to stitch at the beginning, which is this part. So now we are going to go back. Just one more stitch and we are done. So now near this last stitch there should be the longer part of the string, the, the shorter part of the string from the first stitch. So now you are should you do you do also your surgeon's knot just wrap it around twice and pull. Repeat this three to four times, remember that's really important. But now just turn just wrap once around the the, 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 the string. Yeah, like so. One more time, just to be sure. And there you have it. This guy can go back to lifting. So just to finish off, you grab both ends of the of the string, place your scissors parallel to the wound, parallel to the tissue, and before cutting just twist them a little bit and cut. And there you have it. Okay, so happy stitching, bye bye.